Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the Yuma Recipe Tools to store your Yuma characters. Recipes created with the Yuma Recipe Tools are stored in an optimized binary format suitable for database storage and network transfers. As you can see, I've already included the Yuma package, as well as the Yuma Recipe Tools itself. So, I'm ready to go with the crowd scene, which is part of Yuma. I press play and I get 16 characters. Now if I decide that I want to save any of these characters, um, I can select them, and then I can go into the Yuma Load Save menu. In here you'll see the first two menu items, Save uh, Selected Avatars TXT, Save Selected Avatars as Asset. These are both part of Yuma itself and will save the character. Uh, in a regular TXT format, either as an TXT file or as an asset file inside Unity. I'll try to save the avatar as a TXT asset. TXT right here. Recipe size 5519 bytes. Alright. So let's see what the optimized format from the Yuma recipe pack can do. I'll take first the Yuma, uh, the, the binary recipe float. This is a lossless format, which means this is exactly, a, a, exactly as good as the text format. There's no data loss, there's no compression, there's nothing. It's exactly the same. As you can see, 363 bytes. That's an immense saving for storage and network transfers. If I want even more savings, I can use this binary recipe 8 bit. This means that it will only store 8 bit per float uh, in the DNA. So colors, uh, materials, all that is the same except for the actual DNA values, which is compressed down to one byte per float, and that's simply uh, ranging from 0 to 1. So if you have DNA values outside 0 to 1 range, you will have a uh, data loss, and if you have uh, values inside there, you may have some rounding errors. But more or less, you get exactly the same character. Now it's all the way down to 225 bytes. So, as you can see, a significant gain. We also have the 16-bit the format, which is a trade-off between the two of them. Now, if I am to see the result of this, um, I'll go in here, take the serialized scene, right here, and I'll um, duplicate this female. Right, move it forward a bit there, and then I'll hook it up with the 8 bit value. Alright, so we have 8 bit here, and to the left of 8 bit, we'll set up one character that uses the float, and finally, I did that right? No, I didn't. Let's try it again. There we go. And finally, I'll have um, one character which is using the original TXT format. I press play. And out here, I'll have three identical characters. So as you can see, there's no visible difference between the three of them. The only thing is that the 8-bit that we have here in the middle actually has some compression that if you went close enough, you might actually be able to find a small di difference. But the, the float over here and the TXT over here are completely identical. There's one more thing that you can use the Yuma recipe tool for, and that is the inspector. The inspector will show you the actual values of the recipe. So that means when you select the 8-bit uh, recipe, you will see the DNA 
and the colors tab. And that means you can edit your recipe directly inside the inspector. Uh, you can change the size or the height of your character. So now I'm going to make the 8 bit character a bit taller. All right. So let's go out here and take a look. And as you can see, yes, the recipe is taller. Uh, this was all I wanted to show you. It's the Yuma recipe tools, and it's available on the Asset Store.